Hey, good weekend, everyone. How are you all doing? Got Lyle coming to you for a shave. So for today's shave, we're going to be using Highland Springs Soap Co. Green Door. Just a great base. I love this soap. Uh, I love both their tallow and vegan base. Great people. Really, you can't ask for much more. It, to me, it's a an earthy scent with a little bit of that like sweetness or brightness to it. Hard to explain for me. Again, I always tell you guys, I'm not the best with notes describing. I'm lucky to tell you if I like it, if I don't. And I'll tell you right now, it's bright, it's fresh with a little bit of darkness below it for me. I really enjoy this. This is their towel base, which they render themselves. Um, I have it whipped up with my Paragon Shaving Two Band Finest, my Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl, called the Mayor. And we'll get this going. So I hope you guys have been having uh, a good week. We have good shaves. Pretty good weather. <laughs> we had great weather for this for quite a while here. Now it's gotten really kind of crappy. It's snowing today. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm used to snow from when I was a little lad <laughs> in April. Um, here's what it is. <sighs> I do quite enjoy this. So, I've got a couple things to talk about today. And I guess the first thing, or the main thing I want to talk about today with you guys is that this is my uh, last video for probably three to four weeks. Nothing's crazily wrong. Excuse me. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed on video, but I'm just unfortunately not as into making these videos as I used to be. Um, the enthusiasm isn't there. And I'll be honest with you guys, I am kind of finding it a bit stressful. Trying to think of what to use every week, um, what I want to say to you guys, what I can talk about that's relevant and useful for you. And I don't feel I've been doing that. And for me, the main purpose of this channel was to have some fun, which I'm really not right now. I'm enjoying my shares way more off camera, and be to help people. I've helped a few people, which have been great. I mean, that makes my day like you wouldn't believe. It can take a humdrum day for me and make it just awesome. Um, but I don't feel like I'm really offering anything to anybody right now either. There's all the great YouTube channels out there and guys making content way more regularly than me. Uh, showing more variety of stuff. More of the newer products. All that stuff. I just... I'm not sure why I'm doing this anymore. Does that make sense? Find it a little stressful, I guess. That should do. Hopefully. <laughs> and... Uh, I don't know if that stress is deciding what to do for these videos, what I want to say during these videos, what I want to use, what I want to show, if it's external things that are going on in my life right now. Um, I really don't know. And I think really the only way for me to figure out what I want to do with this channel and if I want to keep it going or what is to take a break, distance myself from it for a little bit and evaluate. Um, so that's where I think I'm going to. It's been a real hard decision to make this call. Um, 
I don't know why. Again, that made me think maybe just taking a break, not cutting it completely was the right thing to do. So today I'm going to use the 7 8 console by Art Razor, home by Randy Bacata, first Canadian shave, got from my buddy Tyler Dean. And uh, full hollow, looks like a mirror polish, I remember. And the scales, I can't remember what wood they were. The material was supplied by Randy. Tyler shipped it over to Art Razor there. And then he had two basically brother blades made. This one, which is full hollow, and this other one, which is quarter hollow, two consoles, seven eights. So let's go with the grain. I'm practicing with the glasses, guys. I just love it. I want I love what I'm using. Oh, I love shaving. And I want to cont con to ensure I continue to love it. I don't find it become a chore. So this is by no means anything against my viewers, my subscribers, my supporters. Um, you guys are awesome. The guys have been around for a long time. I really do appreciate it. The guys that talk to me on a regular basis and comment on a regular basis. I love it. I will miss that interaction for the next few next month or so. Um, but I need to take this break to decide what's right for me. And I figured with my wife starting work back full time here uh, tomorrow, that it was a good time to take it. You know, I haven't, yeah, I shave pretty much every day. Uh, this was about a day and a half worth of growth. Sorry, it's late afternoon on Sunday here now. Um, I still shave basically every day. And I really love my shaves. I really have a hard time when I miss them. <laughs> but I hope that won't change. Shaving is something I love. I just never thought I'd say that five over five years ago, but it is. Um, and I want, like I just say this, I want to continue to ensure I love it. And I want to continue to ensure I'm bringing value. Um, to the shave community. So. And right now. Again, that's one of the questions on my mind. Don't know if I do. So. Anyway, sorry to be hum, hum, drum, blum, whatever, man. Um. Hope you guys can appreciate where I'm coming from. Hope you guys can understand this. Hopefully it's not a permanent thing, but I will decide that. Probably with, like I say, within a month here. And, uh, We will know then. <laughs> uh, that's the truth. I'm really hoping it's just external things. Um, and I'm 
I'm even struggling to just I want to make the time to watch shave videos or anything right now too so I will make one unfortunately Here. I'm gonna touch a lot of rolled off my finger here and got just around the thing and we'll just get that out before it goes too deep. And we are golden. So Past that, I hope you guys are doing fine. Um, like I said, definitely the crazy times. And I just don't know, too, if all the stress of these crazy times is finally wearing on me and I've just had enough. Um, you know, all our lives have changed crazily and dramatically and Yeah, I'm working and I'm one of the few, you know, I'm very, very privileged and lucky to have a good job and I haven't lost my job, even though I don't feel like I'm doing my job properly because I'm an outside salesperson <laughs> who hasn't been on an outside sales call face to face in a little over a year because of COVID. Most of my customers won't see people. And I have to be very careful because both my wife and my daughter have severely compromised immune systems, uh, clinically diagnosed a couple of diseases. So, it is what it is. But it just doesn't, yeah, you know, doesn't feel all right. So there you go. Bringing it all out, eh, right? So I don't know if it's that. Could be just outside source of stress from COVID. The situation in the world, I, I don't know. So, it uh, is what it is, guys. As for the shade, everything's going great. Uh, with the green, cross the green have been awesome. Scent is still there, it's excellent. Great scent strength, you know, kind of just above medium, I'd say. Bright, green, a little earthy, I'm enjoying it. Uh, feels great on my skin. The blade is doing well. Um, see if I can avoid any blood here on the against the green. <laughs> you know what? I know better than to do that. So we're not going to do it. on the other hand. <laughs> I'm not chasing BBS right now, guys. I'm just chasing a nice DFS. You can tell. Nice residual there. Said Highland Springs makes them awesome. So if you haven't tried Highland Springs, guys, they have the vegan options, they have the tallow options. You guys have heard me talk about how much I love them if you're following my channel for a while. Um, just, I highly recommend them. Give them a shot. And you'll be you're supporting some really great people too. Both Chris and Mary are amazing people. Uh, might get a memory line right there. Just, you know, 
one of the hardest areas for me to shave is right there in that chin area. I knew it. <sighs> I was hoping to make this, this shitty video uh, no blood for you guys, you know? Um, I had a lot of great shit this week off camera. <laughs> and uh, this happened. Fraters. Oh well, what do you do? Uh, speaking of that, last weekend, I did get a cut right there. I'm still letting that heal up properly, so I'm not doing the against the grain on my upper lip right now. I'm just doing another cross the grain and a lot of cleanups. All right, I'm gonna do my cleanups off camera here for you guys. Do my nose, maybe my jawline. I'll be back for the post shave. All right, I'm back. Let's just finished the cool water rinse. Put a little bit of alum on there. I did get myself there and there. You can see the blood during the cleanup. Oh. I wasn't paying attention was uh, thinking about if I'm making the right ch choice here. And yeah, I lost my concentration and I nicked myself and I let go when I was stretching the clean up right there and I brought, let go and skin came back up and the blade sliced it. So, pull shave today. <laughs> Matching splash. Highland Springs makes, again, a very, very good splash. Um, Material based. Oh. Very, very nice, guys. You know, except for my little goof ups there, the great shave. I don't want to marry car, so We'll see. So, I hope you guys can. Uh, Appreciate what I'm doing, and I hope you guys understand that I need this break. Um, you've decided this is the right thing for me to do. You've decided if I'm still bringing quality and value to you guys as my viewers and with, with this channel, and my viewers, my friends, my colleagues in the shave world, we love so much. And for myself, um, take one more thing off my plate right now for my own mental health. So. Do the shave review for you guys before I forget. Highland Spring Soap Co. Uh, <laughs> soap and Splash. The brain's not there. Thirsty Badger Mayor. Paragon Shaving Two Bad Finest. Uh, and the Beast, the Blade today. The Art Razor Console Seven Eights Carbon Steel. Uh, Beautiful blade, excellent edge from Randy, crazy sharp, uh, really smooth too. So, if you ever need an edge down, he's one of the guys I definitely recommend, him or Magic Mike. Hopefully someday I'll get there to the point with my edges that I can recommend to you guys too. So, anyways, thank you for watching you guys. I really appreciate your support. You have no idea what it means to me. I absolutely love your comments below. It's one of my highlights of doing this. Um, you guys have some great shaves. Be safe. Hopefully all this nonsense is around all away from us in a bit here. A few months. Hopefully you can enjoy your summers. And uh, happy shaving everyone. I'll see you in about a month.